Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Parker Nierenstein. This is Vehicle Virgins. And if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button and join the Vehicle Virgins family because today we are driving one of the most heavily modified Priuses I've ever seen on some twisty roads. If you guys don't already have one, link in the description below for this. Vehicle Virgin stickers are now for sale. You can even put them on your front door. Oh, good morning, Ariana. Looking good with that sticker, girl. I know some of you were a little bit upset about the Aventador prank. It was all fun and games, all entertainment. Becca was super cool about it, and well, she actually kind of loves driving this little Aventador around. If you haven't seen that video, click the link in the description below for that. All right, let's hop in the car and head to this Prius. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying that right now. Whoa, Ferrari rally! Ah! I'm scared, get away! Oh my god, the Prius is here, all right. Next to me is a 2012 Toyota Prius. Normally I'd either be crying or attacking the car, but there's something special about this one. If you look at the car, nobody, and I mean literally nobody, puts aftermarket wheels on a Prius, especially not gold ones with racing slicks on it. You'll also notice it has a lot of stickers on it, but not stickers about the environment or the fact that their middle school student is on the gold honor roll. They're all about racing, memes, speeding, and the fact that this is a heavily modified Prius that likes going down the snake. Let's take it for a spin. So, I don't know if you can imagine, but the owner of this car is not really a typical Prius owner, so to speak. That's because he loves the snake. The Snake is a curvy section of road on Maholland Highway that's become famous for people racing. It's an awesome section of turns that's frequented by M3s and M4s screeching their tires, the occasional super old man driving casually in his manual GT3, and of course tourists in their Nissan Versa going three miles per hour. But there's one car there that stands out from the rest, and that is this, the Slow Prius. You see, this is the little Prius that could. Now, judging by my shirt that says five things I hate about Priuses, you could probably infer that I'm not the largest fan of the car. But this one is different. This is like the underdog in a classic football movie that's not supposed to win. But against all odds, well, this car with a ton of love, aftermarket parts, and a driver that's seriously talented and a bit insane, the slow Prius has been created. I've legitimately watched this car destroy nearly every vehicle down the snake. Obviously, downhill is the only time it has a chance, given the fact that it has a 1.8 liter four-cylinder hybrid powertrain making 134 horsepower and 105 pound-feet of torque. It's able to destroy people in M3s and M4s, mostly due to driver talent, but also due to some of the modifications that we will talk about in a little bit. Of course, a front-wheel drive car with a CVT transmission isn't exactly what you think of when you think of a performance car, but that's why this thing is so damn funny. Some normal facts and figures about the Prius. 51 miles per gallon city and 48 on the highway. Now, normally the city mile per gallon for cars is lower than it is on the highway, but the electric motor is more efficient at city speeds than it is on the highway. Combined fuel economy is 50 miles per gallon. Do you wanna guess what the owner of this car averages? 40, 45, nope, 31 miles per gallon. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's both so bad compared to the 50 mile per gallon average. This thing is driven to its limits every single day on one of the most intense roads in Southern California and it averages 31 miles per gallon. <laughs> That's just hilarious. Now here's the good part of the Prius. Good coefficient of drag in the front, of course, but the best part is its curb weight. Now stock, it weighs just a tad over 3,000 pounds, but of course behind me, this thing is entirely gutted. These seats uh, actually aren't an option from Toyota. They are Sparco Racing bucket seats. This car weighs just 2,850 pounds as it sits. That's actually lighter than the McLaren 675 LT I drove yesterday, the $350,000 track supercar. Well, I guess the Prius is better. Well, we'll just pretend that uh, the Prius doesn't have 530 horsepower less and it's a Prius, but it's very light. The car has front and rear sway bars as well as strut bars because honestly, every Prius owner's first thought is, ah, oh, I'm recornering my chassis flexes too much. I could really use some strut bars. Nope, no one's ever said that other than the owner of this Prius. We've got Hodgkin's Scion SB front and rear sway bars on the car, as well as a Tanabe front strut bar and ultra racing rear strut bar. Honestly, the front strut bar definitely doesn't do anything in this car. The brackets that it's connected to probably flex themselves, but at least they flex together, I guess. 
Now, I don't have a lot to compare this to because let's be honest, how many people have ripped a stock Prius through the canyons? Probably none. Although there is a Matt Farah video of a modified Prius through the canyons, so maybe we'll call that one person other than this car. The brakes have been modified as well. We have R1 concept rotors, Hawk HPS pads, as well as DOT4 brake fluid. Let's see how this thing slows down, shall we? Okay, that's actually not bad. That's not bad, Prius. Let's do it again. This, is, this, this thing puts a smile on my face the whole time. Oh, yep, 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 it slows down. I am, of course, sitting in Sparco bucket seats. Bucket seats in a Prius, because why the f not? A racing four-point harness in a Prius, uh, it's a little unorthodox, but I think it's hilarious. On the outside, we have Rota wheels equipped with Toyo RA1 tires. These are track and autocross tires, not something to be put on a Prius for the road. Well, one road, that is, and that is the snake. Now that we've covered everything you need to know about this modified Prius, let's go ahead and hammer this thing through the corners and see how it does. Wow, it has a staggering amount of grip. Well, it doesn't have very much power out of the corners. That means you have to carry speed through the corner. I'm full throttle through a corner. I'm full throttle right now. This is, oh my God, this is a riot. This is a flipping riot. The grip is actually staggering. These tires are incredible. I, pretty limited amount of body roll, if any. And we're in a Prius. The steering is way too loose. I mean, you have to really crank the wheel like that to make it around not that sharp of turn and the power i mean i'm full throttle 45 46 47 48 brakes are good i'm 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 stunned i'm stunned right now oh my god wow i can be going much faster than i am and i i think it's like you think you're pushing this car hard and it's like ah yeah right i'm a racing prius i've got much more in it than this all right let's go ahead and pull over here and show you the most crucial and funniest step of a racing Prius. How do you turn traction control off in a Prius? Well, I've learned, and it is like a video game cheat code. So let's go ahead and turn this thing off, shall we? So put the parking brake on, then click the power button twice. One, two, then press the gas pedal twice. One, two, then press the brake, hold it, put it into neutral, then press the gas twice, then put it in park, then gas twice, put the brake, turn the car on, and now I've got the traction control off symbol on the dash. Let's go ahead and put it in drive with traction control. Oh yeah, front wheel drive burnouts, baby. This is full throttle. Still going full throttle. The other good thing is it's quite quiet in here. It's stripped out. We've got a lot of the sound deadening gone. Uh, so it's a little bit louder, but you can be going uh, full tilt on back roads without anybody really knowing that you're doing so. And the tires don't screech much because they are meant for the racetrack, so. All right, let's do one more run down the snake and then we're gonna have the driver of this car rip it down and show you guys what this thing is truly made of. Prius in the snake, downhill, round one. The owner of this car can literally beat most motorcyclists down the snake, which is <laughs> hard to do. I'm in a Prius. All right, we're gonna flip around. We're gonna let the owner of the car take this for a little rip. I've returned the Prius back to his owner, who's so legendary, he can't be on film because the cops will be after him instantly for his drag racing Prius. But we've got the point of view cameras set up to show you what a talented driver can do in a Toyota Prius around one of the craziest roads in Southern California. Let's rip. We got traction off, we're in maintenance mode. Oh, we got Hello Kitty. Ah, oh, geez. Going around the J-turn. In a Prius. Oh man. Oh. I think it's hilarious all the noises that you hear, kind of like in a race car with the rocks bouncing off the frame and yeah. just the little creaks. Ah! The brakes work really well on this, oh, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. stunning. Yeah, when they get hot, they're like really nice. They shoot sparks like a race car. Really? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. I love how much you have to move the steering wheel. That's the worst part. <laughs> yeah, the, the steering is definitely its weakness here. Yeah. I don't think Toyota is really like thinking about what we're doing here. They as put a... the battery in the, the rear right of the car for better weight usually. They did? Yeah. Wow. The more you know. Well, I, I think that's why they did it. Oh my god. Oh! 
I remember I was up on Snake and he asked me if I wanted to take a ride in his Prius and I was like, I, I feel like this guy's probably a little insane. And then uh, it proved that his driving was insane. Just insanely good. We are, we are, we are full tilt mobbing in a Prius right now. All right, here we go. Now we're running up Snake, which is probably not this Prius's strong suit, but whoa! Oh my God. How much of this can you be flat out? Almost all. <laughs> Right now, That's then, hilarious. Like the end of the corner, it's like we got let off the rear. Yeah. Gotta love being in a car where you can hit these hairpins and flat out. But it's pretty staggering the level of grip this car has. The brakes work well. Kind of minimal body roll, especially for a Prius. For those curious about this Prius shirt, they are for sale on my website and this week only till December 5th, they're actually 25% off. Click the link in the description below. And now we say goodbye to the racing Prius. Honestly, that was one of the most fun cars I've ever driven. Just totally overwhelming, shocking, the amount of braking power you have, the grip levels, epic. Cool owner too. Just showed up to FedEx. This right here is all the paperwork for the E63. Gonna mail that, and then on December 5th in Germany, I'm going to drive it. So pumped. Whew, back at the house. I think this is a great time to end the video. The code for the day is Prius. Now, I want you guys to go on lightgravity.com and post a picture of what you think I should do for a project car. I want something kind of affordable so that you can modify it and then have it reasonable to be a giveaway car. I think it would be really cool to have a project car and then give it away once it's built. I was thinking Toyota Supra, but honestly, I'd end up going crazy building it. It'd be a million horsepower and probably not gonna give away a $100,000 car. Even though I'd love to do that, uh, I'd probably go broke. Driving that Prius today was absolutely mind-blowing. Honestly, guys, it handled pretty freaking well, not just for a Prius, but for a car in general. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. Remember, merchandise is 20% off right now until December 5th. Sign up on lightgravityshop.com, register, you'll get a coupon code in your email, and boom, you can get shirts like this. Look forward to seeing you next video.